with the way technology is booming today, would it surprise you that there is driverless cars being invented right now? Sebastian Thrun is the mastermind behind these driverless cars. He's a Google engineer. He is also the director of Artificial Intelligence Laboratory and co-inventor of Google Street View. Currently, they have 10 cars that are operating with driverless technology. There are six Toyota Priuses, one Audi TT, and three Lexus RXs. Um, they have a dozen drivers that they have that have an unembellished uh, driving records and the passenger that they have in these cars at all times are uh, is a Google engineer. They have uh, took these cars and tested them on many different um, driving trains in cities and they have taken them around hairpin turns and over the Golden Gate Bridge and circled around Lake Tahoe and many other trains and obstacles. Um, some odd odd facts about these cars are that they um, they can sense what the um, speed limit is and they go the exact speed limit where anywhere you go. They if you step on the brake or turn the wheel, then it's kind of like cruise control and it stops the, um, the driverless sensors and you take over as the driver. They have gone at 300,000 miles accident free and there has been a couple accidents. Um, one of them was the driver's fault, he took over and ended up getting in an accident running into um, a street light. And the other one was due to the fact that, well, it was kind of like the same thing. He stepped on the brake and um, he was supposed to stop, but then he stepped on the brake and slowed down and then ended up keep, kept on going. So it's been due to the driver's fault, not actually to the driverless vehicle sensors. Uh, there are three states right now that they are testing in, just due to the laws and regulations. There's been three states that have let them test these. Those states are Nevada, Florida, and California. And that was passed in September of 2012, so pretty recently that they've been just testing these cars. There is an attorney from California Department of Motor Vehicle that has brought to attention that the technology with these cars is very ahead of laws and regulations. So he thinks that it's going to be a long time until these cars, if it ever happens, that they will be legal for people to purchase and drive. Well, not really drive, since they're driverless. Um, and I have a, a diagram or a picture of the Google cars. And on the top is um, a radar that scans everything around so it knows what's, if there's mountains or signs or anything around them, it senses the depth. And on the left rear is a sensor to tell how fast the car is going and if there's bumps or anything. And in the front there are three sensors and in the back there is one to tell if there's where the vehicles are around them and where the curbs are and everything. And, and in the mirror there is a camera that show that senses the lights if the light is changing red or yellow it will sense that and know if it should stop or go so this is what the google prius looks like that they have used and also i have some statistics I had some statistics, but now I can't find them. Here it is. 
This is from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And it just shows some percentages of why people have gotten accidents. 80% um, is due to talking to the other people in the vehicle. 45% is either talking or drinking. 30% is texting. Excuse me, 40% is texting. 30% is um, using your iPod. And 65% is adjusting the radio. And those are just a few statistics, like I said, from the National Highway of Traffic Administration. And I just have some positives and negatives of these new driverless vehicles. Some positives, Google predicts that they can reduce traffic accidents by 90%. Also, reduce wasted commute time and energy by 90%. And reduce the number of cars by 90%. So there will be a lot less traffic on the road, a lot less pollution. Some negatives are Google Maps are not always accurate. I know I've used Google Maps and they sometimes there used to be a road there so they still have that in there and it's not accurate. And technology always fails so I feel like there would be some glitches in there and that could cause accidents. Also, I think people maybe wouldn't be as attracted to these cars because they have like a big thing on the top and it looks really weird. So I think that might turn some customers away. And also, customers are scared. I know I would be scared. The, big, the thing that I think of is if there are some of these cars on the road and then some people that actually drive the cars, I feel like that would cause a lot more accidents because you wouldn't be able to react. These driverless cars wouldn't be able to react so quick, I don't think. So there's a lot of positives and negatives, and I think it's a great thing to start thinking about our future and realize what could happen.